gang, welcome back. FE review problem, statics. Did I put it up there? Nope. There it is. Okay. So for the given system, look, we've got some weights hanging from pulleys here. Find the value of H right here. Uh, to maintain equilibrium, assume all pulleys are frictionless. Here are your choices. Which one are you going to pick? All right, push, pause, work it. Come back and I'll show you how to do it. Race, set, go. All right, are you back? Let's go. Number one thing, it's a statics problem. Start off with drawing a free value diagram, right? Now, now, one thing you should know always about a pulley on ropes. If I have a rope and I have a pulley and I let it go, that rope is always going to settle right in the middle and the angle on each side of that pulley is always going to be the same, okay? So, <clears throat> what do I have here? I have this, well, look at this. If this is 100 kilonewtons and this is 20 kilonewtons, guess what the tension in that rope is? If I cut it, the tension right there is 100. Well, it's not a magical rope. It's 100 there, it's 100 there, it's 100 everywhere, okay? So here's what I have, free body diagram. There's my little deal. There's my 20, then from here I have this and this, and they're both pulling upwards at an angle of theta, and this is 100, and that's 100. You know what it looks like to me? This is a perfect job for the sum of the forces in the y direction. Here we go. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero, equals going uphill, two times 100, sine of theta, and then going downhill, minus 20, okay? Move the 20 to the other side, divide it by two, that becomes 10, divide it by the 100, equals sine of theta. So that's equal to 0.1, right? And if we handy dandy calculator here on uh, inverse sine of 0.1 equals, 5.74 degrees. And so what do we have here? We have a triangle. It looks like this. Here's that H. Here is the 5.74 degrees. And this side is given as 15 meters. So what is that? I know the adjacent side. I'm looking for the opposite side of the angle. That sounds like a good job for Tangent, man. So tan 5.74 degrees is equal to opposite H over adjacent 15. So tan answer equals times 15 equals 1.507. Okay, and that's meters, because that one's meters, this one's in meters. Meters! All right, what do we got over here? There he is. Answer A. All right, did you get it? Wait for the next one. Here we go.